Hello everybody, we actually have a very unsettling thing to talk about today. Now before I start, please make sure to join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing if you are new. Now let's talk about it. So, sports. They're the thing we love, they're the thing we hate, depending on how our team is doing. And unfortunately, with the path we're headed down, I think we could potentially see the league or just sports in general shutting down again because we are seeing a crazy amount of players landing on the COVID protocol list for hockey as well as other sports. This isn't just a hockey problem either though. You look at the NFL, they have seen a major spike of players put on their COVID list numbering in the dozens and I know the Cleveland Browns, they are just really feeling the brunt of it right now. They've got I think the most in the league of the players on the COVID list for them. And it's also happening overseas as well. In, in the English Premier League, they've had to cancel at least four matches, to my knowledge, up to this point. And if I'm not mistaken, the new variant might have actually started there. I think it started in Europe. And I think that is what the massive increase is all of a sudden. You have this uh, Omicron, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know, this variant of COVID-19 that is mutating very quickly or has mutated very quickly. And the main concern with that virus now is that it appears to spread faster than previous variants and appears to be more resistant to vaccinations as it's had time to adapt due to the low vaccination rates around the world, especially in specific parts of, the, of North America. And that is according to health officials. Pair that with many players probably not likely getting a booster shot. And you have a recipe for disaster with the social life of a modern athlete as they travel all over the place. And to be honest, modern athletes, especially people that aren't married, have kids, things like that, they leave kind of wild lives. And I doubt that they're, you know, doing anything that wouldn't, you know, keep them out of bay there. So it's kind of hard at the moment because really the NHL hasn't had too many issues up to date. But now you're just kind of feeling the brunt. The Calgary Flames have 25 plus members put on the COVID protocol list with over 15 of them being players according to the SCORE app. Notable names on this list include forward Johnny Hockey, starting goalie Jacob Markstrom, and even their head coach Daryl Sutter who has been there since last year. The leagues had to postpone three of Calgary's games and potentially more moving forward. We'll have to watch out for that. There are also rumors unfortunately that Ontario might not allow fans to attend games due to the increase of cases and that means that if Ontario probably does it I would imagine Canada with their history and how they've treated the COVID situation around the world that probably means all of Canada's following suit and we would see no fans allowed at games or potentially no games being allowed to happen where American teams cross the border. We've seen that before. And that would be another huge financial hit to the league. And I doubt the U.S. would shut down again, but you never know. And I think the best thing for the league to do right now to try to settle things is either now or in the near future, try to maybe shut it down for a little bit like they did before. We are kind of experiencing a problem, though, and that is that the holidays are right around the corner. You have Christmas, which is 10 days away, and we're looking at an expected increase of an outbreak there. You have New Year's Eve a few days after that, and that's a huge party day for a lot of people. A lot of drinking, a lot of socializing, a lot of being around people you're not typically around, or at least not around that often. And while I hate to bring up this bad news, I think we should all probably prepare for either fans not being allowed in some capacity, maybe reduced capacity again, or, you know, them just shutting it down in the coming weeks. So we have to prepare for that. And I would, again, probably not in the U.S. I couldn't imagine it, except maybe like some places, California, I could see something like that. But uh, yeah, Canada, I'm expecting that. Hopefully I'm wrong, though. And I do think that it'll be interesting to see how each sports league handles this. Um, you've got the NFL, they're wrapping up their season, getting close to that. They've got the playoffs coming up. And then you've got the Premier League. Obviously, they make a ton of money, the NBA. And, yeah, it's just kind of crazy to see because we're going to have to see how all these leagues feel what's the best thing for them in the coming weeks to deal with this. Do you think that the league will not allow fans or will stop play at any point this season? Will it be a league decision as the NHL will decide, hey, we're going to reduce capacity, no fans, or just going to shut it down? Or do you think it will be a government decision where Canada would say, 
we're not going to allow anything to happen or we're not going to allow cross-play from the American side to come on over, kind of like how they did last year. Let me know down below, give me a, or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and then if you would like to join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing, I appreciate that so much. Everybody stay safe, hey, have a great night, you love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.